Greetings everyone, we got a new awesome humble bundle for Unreal which is called the Asset Bonanza It contains assets from Machine Gun Studios, Decagon, Freshcan, Yarrow Interactives and others Which contains hospitals, basketball court, uh, mansion, exterior, diner, some foliage, signs, animations, uh, cities, houses, medieval houses uh, some UE4 system for like inventory and attributes, we can ignore those. Tanks, zombies, vehicles, uh, they're all drivable by the way. Uh, some props, signs, uh, gas station and store props, medical equipment, barnyards, village house packs, interiors, some zombies, ambulance and police cars, uh, even more props. And some World War One weapons. I think I already reviewed those. And some music packs. Uh, we can ignore th those as well. Now this bundle is divided into three price points. Uh, the maximum one in which you get all the 50 items is uh, $30. So you have to pay $30, uh, 30 minimum. There is a $25. I mean, just pay the 30 and don't go for the 25 The $1 uh, one is not bad actually. You get the two weapons, I think, just for the two weapons, it's worth it. So these are redeemed on uh, Epic Game Store, so it is as if you have bought it for, on the Unreal Marketplace, gets added to your library. Uh, you can adjust the donation or the, is the, like the share between Humble, the developer, and the charity of your choice, yes. This time around, they gave us the option to change who we want to support on the charity group. Uh, it's direct relief by default. You can change it to whatever you like. Uh, this is a nice option. You can search the name of the organization that you want to support or choose the category and uh, search for it to find any of those uh, that, are, that are in the, that category. So you get some other organizations that you can choose from. So when you buy the bundle, you get the keys for all of the assets uh, minus the music that can be redeemed on the Epic Launcher as if, and it will get added to your library as if you have bought it from the marketplace. Some of the assets have already been on previous Humble bundles, uh, so I have some keys that I don't need, like duplicates, that I will give away and the detail of the giveaway is at the end of the video. As for the medical props and office props for, uh, from Machine Gun Studios, they see that it is included in the Apocalyptic Hospital, which is already included in this bundle. So these two are like extra already. And I'll, I will also give away. When you buy it, you get a uh, key for each of the assets. And the music are just direct downloads. There is a link on how to redeem on the Epic uh, Launcher, but I'll just show it myself. Uh, reveal any of the key and copy it. And go to your Epic Launcher. Go to your account and uh, click redeem code. Uh, you have to log in into the correct account that you want the asset to be added Then just paste the code and it will tell you what uh, asset it is and Just click redeem and then redeem another then copy paste and repeat the first uh, asset that we're gonna look into is the apocalyptic hospital this is like a complete environment uh, very high quality the levels are divided uh, using level streaming, like one for decals, another for lighting, etc, uh, etc. Et but this is a really nice environment. This actually inspires me to make an apocalyptic game about zombies and the assets on this bundle actually helps towards that. Uh, but you can use it however you like, nothing's stopping you. Light flicker, everything about this is very nice. The elevators, uh, elevate, but they are just elevator doors. Uh, there are no actual elevator props, but that's something you can make. You can also go downward or upwards. In the basement, basically nothing, just a door. So you have to fill in the rooms yourself. 
along with the upstairs just some of these assets but still a very nice uh, representation these are different levels each does one thing for example uh, let's hide uh, the decals so you can you get a clean uh, hospital uh, although this the, like the props are a mess also the props themselves are a uh, different level uh, so you can also hide that if you want I mean, to be honest, uh, this bundle by itself, the $30, is worth it for this asset alone, in my opinion. This is a very high quality asset pack. This is the overview level. You can see the different uh, meshes that are laid out here. There are also prefab bakers, using editor utility, if I'm not mistaken. So you can bake those. Uh, yeah, these are w the ones that are part of the medical kit that I showed that uh, they're already included with this. So I don't know why those two are included with this since the hospital, hospital already includes those. Uh, that's something strange to me. But hey, uh, how can I do a giveaway if I don't have any duplicates, right? They are actually kind of low polish. Uh, this is due to the material that's not that's not showing it. Even in lightning only view mode, if you change it to another material, it, the details will be gone because it's normal map dependent. The collisions are for some parts they are good like they're very very good for some parts for others like these vases mm, they are acceptable but for something like these extreme machines they are very very good along with the bookshelves also they're good so yeah collisions are generally good and also they are the materials are customizable There are other options, but I'm just just showing those. There are too many assets, and I have to go through most of them, so I'll just speed things up from now on. The next one is the exterior mansion from Decagon Studios. This is a very high quality uh mansion uh, there is like this uh signs and skulls because it's supposed to be a post-apocalyptic mansion but uh, there is no interior but you can make the interior yourself using the assets from this bundle or uh, some other assets that you have already to lay out the interior yeah because the parts here are modular Mine is the apocalyptic theme. It's really nice exterior. Uh, this is the night scene. You can see the fire, and like the interior uh, lighting in the windows. The lightning is like from a lamp, but still it looks gorgeous. And the atmosphere itself, uh, I personally like it very much. This is the overview level and the assets uh, that make the mansion which is a plus actually because you can make other variations of it 
you can see the walls uh, they have depth to it but that's just a uh, height map uh, which of course you can use it to make nanite meshes since they're included that's another plus and the material customization does exist so you can change many things Uh, one thing that you can also change would be like adding vines and also desaturation like many many uh, material parameters that you can use to customize it to your liking. This is world aligned uh, dirt, but uh, for some reason I couldn't spot it. You got parallax and vines if you if you want. Now it's more visible, you can tint that as well. And the next one is the basketball court. I don't know, the daytime scene doesn't look that good. Uh, this is meant for big lighting, uh, but still. And it looks really, really good in uh, correct lighting condition. Change the compensation, let's see. Yeah, but something still is off with the floor. You see the complete basketball court with the assets. Also modular. This is the nighttime scene. Like I said, this was made for baked lighting. So when I'm using Lumen, I have to adjust some of the lighting setting. So at least the floor looks somewhat correct. And all of these signs are there that uh, as a decal or as a mesh that you can change to your logos that you want. Uh, as far as I know, these logos are not real, but still, uh, it's a nice option to give you, you the choice to change it to whatever you want. Uh, these are made of m a bunch of static meshes, but still, like I said, you can change those to your liking. Now, the overview here. You can see the individual pieces that make uh, that scene up. The collisions are uh, very good. The quality of Decagon stuff is just top tier in my opinion. And the UVs are very well laid out. I looked at uh, most of their assets. Uh, although I'm not going to show it in this video. Their UVs are very well optimized and very well packed. Uh, needless to say, there are options to customize the materials.
would be hard to see the dust, but it's there with some other uh, material parameters. You can make it more visible or not. Next one is the diner environment. Uh, this has a problem with the post process because it's set to ray tracing by default on 5.3. Uh, I mean, even scrolling through the setting is very slow, so I'll just hide the post process until uh, at least it becomes somewhat play like not only playable, but you can at least scroll through the options smoothly and you can see uh, the FPS counter on the right, how it changed. Uh, basically, this is the culprit. I'm using Lumen, so I'm just changing the reflection lighting to Lumen. It's a basic environment. Uh, the quality is okay -ish. See the overview. Uh, collisions are okay. If I'm not mistaken, there are not much material customization on this one. But still, looks good. Just to make sure, yep. So customization almost non-existent. The next one is the post-apocalyptic city from Freshcan. Uh, there is no interior in the first level. Uh, there are multiple levels included. For this one, this is just the building and the streets. Next one is the interior. See that there are stairs. The interior is in this part. This is the overview level. There are a bunch of modular parts and some pre-built or like baked ones. The quality is okay -ish. A bit too low poly, I mean, you can see the straight edges there. Of course, most of the, the assets that are made in this bundle were before Nanite, so they were not meant for it. But still, they do look good. This is the Soviet uh, level of the same pack. This is like a level with different floor options that you can stack on top of each other to make variations of the buildings. And the walls should be thick enough for Lumen. And the update 3 that's found in the folder contains these. Uh, it's like some foliage with the buildings, uh, but the buildings here do have uh, are made of modular parts, so you can put props in here, the, the included props. And we can see the interior here. I have to change to inlet to get a better look. And you can see the incorrect IOR of the windows. And uh, there are metal customizations. And these do use uh, vertex color to add variations. Seen here there can do a mesh paint uh, and click on any of these meshes to visualize the vertex color. 
Uh, if I'm not mistaken, there was a, like an option to show the vertex color of the scene. But Mesh Paint does it for quick uh, overviews. Next one is the oak trees. This includes both low poly and nanite uh, versions. This is the front row is the nanite version. Yep, the when you go to like only view mode, the details doesn't go away, but you can see the row on the back. That's changed. That's because they're the low poly ones. If we go to the nanite visualization. We can see them. This is a nice thing about Decagon uh, assets. From a certain point in time, whenever they released uh, uh, an asset pack, till now, as far as I know, they include the nanite versions of it, or the high poly, and uh, everyone else should learn from them, to be honest. Uh, by the way, this is the spruce trees, or the spruce tree pack. But yeah, everyone should uh, take a note from them. This one is a tropical foliage and landscape. Uh, unfortunately, this one uh, was before they made nanite meshes, so they're just low poly. But they still look good. There are multiple species. Besides palm trees, there are banana plants and uh, shrubs and some others. You see there are wind uh, or they're just moving. Uh, these are done through the world position offset in the material shader. There are multiple parameters you can change. This can be seen. Age does something. I always go for the color and the parameters because they are the most easily distinguishable difference when you change them. This is the demonstration level. You can see it's a small island. The next one is, I think, is one of those villages. I mean, there are lots of village uh, houses and stuff, but this one is with the interior. I can't remember the exact name. Uh, these are also modular houses. They're done through Blueprint, though, so when you click just one of them, all the Blueprint gets selected. And there is an attic here. And for some reason, these trees are huge. I don't know why they're this tall. Let's add light here. So, yeah. Uh, this asset pack is by Fresh Cans. And I love how they make their uh, stuff modular. So you can make many variations. One. These are the house blueprint prefabs. Yeah, so this is the village house pack. We also got the another map and the overview. We will just check the overview. Details are good. Collisions, they are using complex as simple, although there are simple collisions for each of them. But uh, let's, let's go to show, simple. Yeah, but uh, in the settings, they are just using complex as simple. Next one is the 60s interior uh, or Soviet interior. Kind of a wholesome room or living room. This is the exterior. Yeah, this made mostly for interior.
This is one of the animations, uh, the ninja ones to be exact. I'm not sure the other ones because it's just the animations. You can look uh, at the videos. Uh, these are supposedly mocap animations. I don't know what uh, what does a ninja do. This is like throwing something, a star or something else. The running, I mean, it doesn't have the uh, iconic ninja run hands behind back thing but can we see uh, there's an old uh, one with the both root motion and in place and this is the procedural uh, forest it's a large forest environment I think this also include uh, imposters uh, there are diff different seasons, uh, or there are multiple levels, each with a different season. This one's for autumn. Yeah, and the next one would be spring. See, it's the greenish. The leaves are green. Yeah, but uh, one of the thing foliage we have uh, seen from Decagon was the oak and this is also supposed to be oak trees And this is like old village houses, another fresh can uh, asset pack. Yeah, this one actually looks very good. You may not see the interior pretty much because of the post process. Yeah, but this one is world aligned. It's amazing how uh, just some modular pieces can make so many variations of houses. You can populate an entire village from these packs or from these modular meshes. And uh, like I said, the nice thing about Freshcan, they always make many prefabs and uh, provide them as blueprints. I mean, these are not blueprints, but they're like separated. But on the other side, they are blueprints. Uh, it's a very nice uh, idea by Freshcan. These are the different houses that are already built in. This is the sign. This is by Decagon. Uh, just some signs, like a couple of them are using just one texture or the meshes are shared in one texture. And this is the overview. There are nanite meshes, although, uh, and of course, low poly on the back, but I don't know what's the point of uh, nanite meshes for this flat, for these flat signs. I don't see the point, but uh, it's better than not being there, I guess. Next one is the apocalyptic sign. Not bad, actually. Yeah, they look good. I wish they were like somewhat modular and the letters were separated so we can make different variations of them. Overview seems like the same thing as the demonstration. This is the, the photo scan, uh, I guess, Australian pack by Yarawa. Uh, let me check that quick. Yeah, Australian Desert Photo Scan Collection. Uh, the second one, you can see the bones here, and uh, there are multiple different textures on the floor for, uh, and mm, I don't think uh, I need to see what that is, but uh, you can see the floors are each different uh, textures. 
and they are kind of layout similar to the mega scans got the ambient occlusion roughness and displacement as one uh, texture and the fourth map of it is this one uh, the rock the rocks these are uh, kind of high poly the next one is the tank now i got the individual ones but uh, they're basically should be the same thing uh that was the leopard i think and this one is the abrams uh they're all drivable they have uh drivable uh level that you can shoot uh, even from these machine guns you can uh, use them you can check them out uh, they're very good i did uh, i think an overview video on a previous one uh on a previous bundle that included them they're very high quality as you can see even from uh up close considering the size this is the t90 quality is very very i very very much like it it can be used in first person definitely and for the ambulance one of the this is a drivable version it has these props and uh, you can do some customization to them uh, let's first drive them uh by the way when i these are projects but i added it to my content so some stuff did not add correctly because uh, they were not using enhanced input i really wish that they would change to enhanced input it's much much better when you transfer packs uh, this is like a hatchback from the drivable vehicles I don't know for the showcase level it doesn't show uh, one without leaves so it just doesn't show a clean one but uh, like the clean ones also uh, is there and they're all drivable I don't need to mention that all the time um, this is the police car also th this is drivable and uh, if I'm not yeah the siren also works on this and the ambulance it's like a sedan And lastly, the van. These are high quality vehicles. Next one is the female star zombie. There are some animations here. But the jump is like a normal person. <laughs> and this is for the star male. There are many variations that you can make from the cloth, from the hair. Uh, there are also uh, some some parts or a map that you can customize although it didn't uh, work properly, like a selector to choose the morph targets because there are m some morph targets. This is like Droger, Droger, I don't know how it's that pronounced. Uh, I don't know what is this supposed to be like ended warrior i'm not pretty sure but the quality is very high from the armor and whatnot and the morph targets on this one is much more than the zombies you can basically change the uh the leg i'm better i better show it uh directly should be better Let's choose one with clothes on and you can see that uh, the different morph targets and there are many many of them we got typical eye mouth uh things there and for the leg and arm and next is the roadside blockades this is the Decagon Studio and does include both 9.8 and low poly versions. I very much like the both both versions, especially the 9.8. So even on lightning only view mode because uh, the detail is baked into the texture, into the mesh, sorry. Or sculpted into the mesh. Uh, this, I don't know, are these photo scans? They look so good. They're, they look very, very realistic. Uh, by the way, the materials on these are also customizable. You can change the yellow color to something else. And you can see, getting a closer look at the low poly 
once. There are some details on them as well, but not as much as this one. Just start from normal map. The collisions are good because they're just primitive shapes. Next one is the barnyard. Well, these okay, but uh, these are just one mesh. Uh, it's not like a blueprint, I, I believe. It's just one mesh. Uh, but uh, you can basically make it from those modular parts, so not a big deal. The windmill, on the other hand, uh, I don't know, not windmill, but I don't know what it's called exactly. Those are just one piece mesh. Collisions are, I don't know, complex and simple for some reason. Next one is restaurant and dive bar. And multiple meshes. The right side are just like combined meshes, I believe, or the blueprint. Uh, these are, uh, there are separated parts. Something you, uh, you kind of frequently see in Decagon Studios. They kind of uh, split the functional parts sometimes, which is very good. Uh, however, the collision on the balls, uh, yeah, it's not that good. Probably complex is simple as well. Uh, a sphere one should do better if you want to do or use it for some physics uh, simulated scenarios. See these balls. There are different tex uh, texture with the, um, like a red bull. No pun intended. Uh, the collisions are complex and simple. I mean, for something like this kind of makes sense, but wish that simple was also provided. And the clock is not animatable, no. Let's make this two-sided and see what's inside. So, yeah. And up next, we got the medieval village pack. I think the lightning doesn't do it justice. When you get closer, it gets better. That's the lightning fault. We got the stone. It seems like detail normal, but it isn't, although the material does support it. There's also modular, different uh, meshes are also provided, from different combined meshes. The windmill is just two part, unfortunately. The like the blade is separated, but not the interior. This is just one piece. I wish that this was also separated, although I didn't see the separated part for this one. Maybe it's included, but uh, yeah, like I said, I haven't seen it. Collision still complex is simple. And we got the medical tent, which is a tent with the medical equipment inside. That would be perfect if you combine it with the uh, apocalyptic hospital. This is the overview level of it. So the tent itself are actually very cleverly made. You can extend it to, uh, to the size that you want. And uh, these uh, containers are separated on their functional parts. Uh, of course, the combined one is also provided. And there's this nice mask. And some medical equ equipment. The collisions are not bad. This one is the gas station or uh, shopping car, shopping mart. Uh, I mean, basically, it contains gas station stuff, related stuff, along with... Uh, store of the gas station and uh, like always the functional parts are separated very nice if you want to make interactive experiences got some uh what do you call it coffee machine along with gas station or the one with the fuel pumps that you fill in 
ice cream story machine uh, gas tank and also a place where you can trade your gas canisters or gas tanks the small ones also have separated version another gas related uh, asset and like a vend not vending machine like storage but there is also the door for it nice asset if you combine it in the correct way you can easily make a gas station and this is yet another house pack I don't know house village village house packs uh, I'm kind of lost at this point so many houses this is also modular yeah the collections are still complex as simple uh, this one does include uh, some blueprint pre prefabs that you can drag and drop which like I said very nice consideration by fresh can uh, there's no floor that's why it's not snapping to the correct position that I would want it but I think I've made my point clear here there are basically many variations of the house prefabs already made in blueprints as for some of the other assets that I haven't shown like some of the animations or some cardboard asset pack I don't think that's, that's, um, it's that important to show or some of the hyper blueprint uh, systems like a swimming thing I think those are exclusive to UE4 like I said in the beginning let's pretend that they don't exist as for uh, the music pack, of course, I cannot preview that. And what's left would be the guns, the World War guns. I've already made a detailed review on those. I'll link them up somewhere in the video and click them now. Uh, so my overall thoughts of this pack would be just buy it. The, and, uh, no kidding, just get it. It's uh, like a humongous amount of assets. For $30 it's just uh, uh, steel and if you have uh, grabbed some of the other assets la from the previous bundle like me you can give away give them away to someone you know some of your other team members and speaking of giveaways uh, the details are as follows it should end by 20th of uh, November or this month Everyone should be applicable, unless of course you are uh, one of the asset makers of the, that's included in this bundle for obvious reasons. And I'll contact the winner by replying to their comment saying that I would need you to uh, provide me a Discord ID or an email. And the winner has about 48 hours to reply or I'll have to redo it again. Uh, and for what is going to be given away, it would be the tanks, uh, the starved male and female, the procedural vehicles, the apocalyptic office props and uh, medical props for them, the quarantine medical tent, and the po ambulance and the police cars, and lastly the World War I weapons. With this we have reached the end of this video, hope you found it useful, later.